What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and the Royal Rumble is less than a week away. Now I've already made one of these videos talking about my top 10 potential surprises for the Men's Royal Rumble. If you haven't already checked that out, do. I will leave an annotation above. However, this video is talking about 10 potential winners. Five from the Men's Royal Rumble, five for the Women's Royal Rumble. Without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get right into number 10. At number 10, I have last year's Women's Rumble winner, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Now, I don't think this is going to happen, but it was probably the most realistic. I haven't really been following much of the women wrestling recently, I will be honest with you. Uh, but I know for a fact that she has just dropped the SmackDown Women's title to Charlotte Flair in her return. As always, of course, Charlotte gets the gold. Uh, so as payback, you could have her win the Royal Rumble again face Charlotte at Mania. I don't know. I'm not interested. They could completely rerun the story from last year. Uh, but I really don't want to see this and I hope they don't do it. But it's on there because anything can happen in the WWE. Ronda Rousey to win the Rumble. Next up on my list, we have the almighty Bobby Lashley to win the Men's Royal Rumble. Now, Bobby has turned heel recently and has been doing absolute bits. He's been dominating. I absolutely love to see it. And we're also being teased that the Hurt Business could be getting back together or just reinvented as a new entire Hurt Business. I don't know. Uh, but winning the Royal Rumble and going on to face Roman at Mania... I don't think we've really seen much Bobby Lashley versus Roman Reigns since Reigns become the Tribal Chief, if any. Uh, so I would be interested by this, you know, if we can't get what we're expecting to get, which I won't mention just yet because it will ruin the video. Uh, but I think this would be a good alternative. So Bobby Lashley to win the Men's Rumble. Coming in at number eight, we have the man, big time Bex, Becky Lynch to win the Women's Royal Rumble. Now, Becky won the Rumble in 2019, but I think she could win it again here. Uh, you know, she could do the storyline rerun one more time. Charlotte versus Becky at WrestleMania. Obviously, we don't want her facing Bianca again because we've already done that. Uh, literally, at the last WrestleMania, uh, same as the whole Ronda Charlotte stuff. So have Becky face Charlotte again. Pick up the SmackDown Women's Championship. This time, make it the last time these two show down. They always deliver a good match. Uh, so I would be willing to watch it. It's lower on this list because it's not really what I want to see, uh, but it could happen. Becky Lynch to win the Royal Rumble. Coming up next, we have her husband, a sleeper pick in this year's Royal Rumble, Seth freaking Rollins. Now, no one's talking about Seth Rollins. And after a previous conversation I had with Des, who's someone I train with, I think he could probably win this. You know, if if things aren't going down 100% how WWE want them, say, for example, they can't get The Rock in or, you know, whatever. Uh, Roman needs two opponents for WrestleMania instead of defending, you know, each titles together. You can defend them one each night. Have Seth face him on night one and then have someone else face him on night two. I don't know. I think it will be good. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Seth freaking Rollins has put in a shift in WWE this last year. And uh, I think he has deserved another world title run very, very shortly. So there's a pick that I would not mind at all. Seth freaking Rollins to win the Royal Rumble. Coming up next, we have the leader of Damage Control. Now, since her return, Bailey has been unsuccessful in her attempts to capture the Raw Women's Championship from Bianca Belair. But we haven't seen a Bailey versus Charlotte feud in a very long time, it feels like. So I'd be up for Bailey winning. I mean, since her return, I feel like she's earned a championship, or at the very least, a championship opportunity. So she's also never won a Women's Royal Rumble, and that's quite hard to say. I mean, when you think of women that are like the pioneers in WWE right now, to know that Bailey hasn't won one of the Rumbles, it actually took me back a little bit. I know there's only been a few of them for the ladies, but. I would have just, uh, you know, been out of the loop with wrestling and stuff. She was one of them people that I was just like, oh, yeah, she hasn't, has she? Like, do you know what I mean? It was, it surprised me. So it, it wouldn't bother me at all if Bailey was to pick up the win here and face Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's title at WrestleMania. I don't know. Bailey to win the Royal Rumble. Coming in next at number five, halfway through, we have... Probably the sentimental favourite going into this. 
the honorary oos of the bloodline, Sami Zayn. Now, all this stuff has been going on, Sami's loyalty being tested, you know, I don't know what's going to go on with Sami and the bloodline here, but uh, it's just been so natural, the build and the hype and the love that Sami is receiving for the fans, finally. If he can pull off winning the Royal Rumble and then facing and beating Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, you know, that would be a hell of a moment. A hell of a moment indeed. So I would be well up for seeing it. And uh, yeah, he's actually one of my predictions to do it in real life if they want to go that route. Um, quick spoiler for the later predictions video, but there you go. Uh, Sami Zayn to win the Royal Rumble. Coming up next, we have Alexa Bliss. Now, Alexa Bliss is facing off against Bianca Belair earlier on the show, but we have seen a lot of stuff is happening with Alexa and we don't know the answers to it yet. She's being toyed with, she's being messed around with by Uncle Howdy and uh, we know her previous history with Bray Wyatt and The Fiend. So, is something going to switch? Maybe something happens at the end of the match with Bianca where we see normal Alexa Bliss wrestling. Uncle Howdy comes out, you know, she loses the match, whatever, and she walks off with him. We then have later on in the show in the Women's Royal Rumble, Twisted Bliss, you know, Fiend Bliss come back out and win the whole thing to then rematch Bianca and win the Raw Women's title at WrestleMania. I don't know. I think it is possible. It could happen. Alexa probably one of the only women right now that's being built to have something that we can't see the current future of. And I love that term, uh, or I love that way of storytelling, I should say. So anything really can happen. But there you go, Alexa Bliss to win the Women's Royal Rumble. Coming in now at number three, we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, one of the most heavily rumored participants for this year's Royal Rumble to come back, win the thing and face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania for the WWE or Universal or both of them at the uh, the same time for the championships. I don't know. Is it going to happen? We could see it. If he comes back, I see him winning it. You know, if the, if the Rock comes back, well, you know, as a surprise entrant, it's going to be hard to think, yeah, he's not winning. Um, I would definitely love to see Rock versus Roman. It's a dream match we've been wanting for a very long time, probably since the 2015 Royal Rumble if, at the end of the day, if I'm honest. And uh, yeah, I think if they're doing it, now is the time to do it. That doesn't mean I necessarily want him to win the Royal Rumble. The Rock is the kind of character that can just come back and say, yeah, Roman, I want you, and he will get it. You don't have to give him the Royal Rumble to earn that title shot. But we'll see what happens. The Rock to win the Royal Rumble. Coming in at number two, my final pick for the women. It is Rhea Ripley of the Judgment Day. Now, in my opinion, no one deserves to win this Rumble more. She has had a banging year last year with the Judgment Day. It's been fantastic. Great work with Dominic Mysterio. Great work initially with the Judgment Day, even when it was with Edge running things. She's just been doing great. And I really, really, really want to see a one-on-one -on -one match again between Bianca Belair and uh, Rhea Ripley. We had this teased in the 2021 Royal Rumble. Them two going one-on-one -on -one and uh, Bianca came out on top. Bianca's not going to be in the Rumble now. as She's already the champ. So have Rhea come out win the whole thing and face her at WrestleMania to finally beat Bianca Belair and take the Raw Women's Championship. If I'm honest, I think she's probably the only believable challenger Bianca has left. So I think it's time to put the belt in the judgment day on Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley to win the Women's Rumble. And that brings us to my overall number one pick to win the 2022 Men's Royal Rumble match, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. He is confirmed entry last week on Raw. It is official. He's on the poster. We knew it was coming. Cody's recovered and he is coming back to win the Rumble. I'm sure of it. I see it happening. I hope it happens. If I'm honest, he is my, my pick that I want to win. Uh, I really want to see Cody topple Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. You could do Rock versus Roman on night one for the Universal Championship, have Roman retain. Then night two, have Rock, uh, Roman versus Cody and have Cody finally pick up the W. You can then keep Roman protected by saying, oh, I had to wrestle two nights in a row and Cody still gets his moment winning the WWE title. I think it's perfect storytelling. It just needs to have the trigger pulled on it. 
But there you go. Cody Rhodes to win the Men's Royal Rumble match 2023. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Let me know your predicted winners in the comment section down below. Let me know who you think is going to win both the Men's and the Women's Royal Rumble matches this year. But once again, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.